Welcome to the Civics Roundtable Bull Show. I'm Matt, your host today. Today will be about the Declaration of Independence, and we have two student contestants with us today. Please help me welcome Cody and Sarah. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Now, let me explain how today's show will work. There will be a series of questions that our viewers have asked about the Declaration of Independence. I will ask these questions and give an answer, but the answers may or may not be correct. It will be up to you to determine if the answer is correct or bull. If the answer is correct, you will tell me correct. And if it is bull, you must give me the correct answer. For each correct response, you will earn $100. But in order to keep it, you must win the game. Are you ready to get started? I'm ready. Let's do this, come on. Okay, here we go. Our first question. Cody, who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Answer, Thomas Jefferson. Correct. Great, Cody, you just won $100. That's our first $100 given. Next question. Sarah, what holiday is connected to the Declaration of Independence? Answer, July 4th. Hmm, I believe that answer is correct. Wow, you guys are doing great. That's another $100 given out. Next question. Cody, what year was the Declaration of Independence written? Answer, 1676. That's correct. Oh no, Cody, that answer is not correct. Are you serious? Oh. I'm sorry, Cody. Sarah, do you know the correct answer? Well, yes, I do, Matt. The answer should be 1776. That is correct. Unfortunately, Cody, that $100 goes, now goes to Sarah. So, on to the next question. Sarah, how many people signed the Declaration of Independence? Answer, 56. Correct. Awesome. You just won another $100. Woo! Right on. Next question. Cody, when did, the, when did the Contentional Congress actually pass a resolution of independence? July 4th? No, that's bull. It was definitely July 3rd. Ouch, that is incorrect, Cody. Sarah, do you have the correct answer? Well, Matt, I know it was before the 4th, and if Cody was wrong with the 3rd, it must be the 2nd. That is correct. Here's your $100. Woo! Well, it looks like Cody only has $100, while Sarah has $400 at this point. Cody, you better start catching up or Sarah will win. Yeah! Sarah, why did Adams ask Jefferson, the youngest on the committee, to draft the declaration? Answer, Adams didn't want to do the work. That's easy, huh? Bull, the correct answer is Jefferson was an adequate writer. Oh no, Sarah, I cannot give you credit for that answer because it is only half the reason. I'm sorry. Cody, can you give me the other part? Adams wasn't well-liked and needed to stay in the shadows. That is correct, Cody. Here's $100 for you. <laughs> Sarah, why did the congressman, John Dixon, not sign the declaration? Answer, he was hoping for a reconciliation with Britain. Well, let's see. I believe that's correct. Sarah, you are doing an outstanding job. Here's $100. I know. Woo! Cody, John Dunlap was important to the Declaration of Independence because, answer, he helped write it in the background. Bull, the correct answer is that he was a, was a printer and the copies of the Declaration of Independence were known as the Dunlap Prodder side. That is correct. Here's $100. Woo! Yeah! Sarah, where, did the declaration, where is the Declaration of Independence kept? Answer, National Archives. Correct. That is also correct. Here's $100. Mm -hmm. Cody, how many colonies approved the Declaration of Independence? Answer, 13. Correct. That is correct. Here is $100. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Sarah, of all the colonies, which state had the most signatures? Answer, New York. Bull, the correct answer is Pennsylvania. 
Ooh, I am sorry. That is not correct. Cody, do you know the correct answer? No. <laughs> we will move on to the next question. And for our last question, Cody, we must all hang together, or most assuredly, we, all, we shall all hang separately. Answer, Ben Franklin? Correct. That is correct. Here's $100 for you. But it looks like Sarah is our winner today with $800. So now it is time for the bonus round. Are you ready, Sarah? You could win an additional $500. I sure am. I know I could do this. Okay. Sarah, for this question, you will actually have to answer this question. So what is the first word of the Declaration of Independence? Oh, it's a tough one. Um, win? I'm here to tell you, Sarah, your answer is correct. Yay! Wow, here you go. An additional $500. You did a great job today. That's all the time we have today, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Join us next time.